Hello wine hunters, Trophy Wine Hunter, welcome back to my wine channel. Today I'm doing another in my wine topic series. This was brought about by many comments from my viewers and subscribers who wanted me to talk about and wanted my views on second wines. What is a second wine? Traditionally, a second wine meant the alternate or second label of a growth wine. So for instance, the famous examples would be Chateau Lafitte, their second wine would be Carouse de Lafitte, Chateau La Tour, their second wine would be La Fort de La Tour. And I'll list some of these in the comments section. And so traditionally what happened was that the Chateau Lafitte, for instance, they may produce many different grapes and some of them may not meet the selection criteria of the um, first or grand cru wine. And so it was still very good grapes. So they decided to make a second wine. And if you look at my video on my reclassification of 1855 um, classification system, you'll see that I rate many of these second wines of the first growth wines high, very high, and in fact, uh, higher than most of the other growth wines. You may be wondering, Trophy, you're talking about second growth wines. Why do you have this uh, orange wine in front of you? Well, this is again a promo for an upcoming video that I'm doing on orange wines. And this is the wine I'm going to review, Dario Princex Bianco. And again, uh, you'll might spot some weirdness there, but I'm going to explain that in that video. But I digress. Um, second wines, again, the um, issue I have with calling them second wines is that by calling them second wines, somehow that infers that they are an inferior product. And I'll explain as I go on this video that that I think is an incorrect concept. Um, just talking about the first growth wines and their second wines, that is definitely not the case because many of these wines are way better than most other wines um, that are produced in Bordeaux. So I think I um, get bothered by that um, nomenclature or that classification or that wording of second wine, even though I use it too. Um, and I think a better wording to describe these wines would be sibling wines, because a sibling denotes um, the same family, but does not have any um, kind of uh, wording or uh, get inference of an inferior um, quality. The second wine concept started with the first gross, but as wine, and I've noticed more and more, and in particular in Asian cultures, um, as wine got more expensive, people wanted to, were more interested in other second wines. Now, there's not that second wines of other classified gross or other Bordeaux wines have not been produced, but I think there has been more uh, of them and subsequently even third and fourth wines of certain wineries. Um, just because the impact of pricing on wines has demanded that, you know, there's not enough of the Grand Cru wine, so um, public demands more branding or they want to get more associations with wines, so therefore you're going to see second growth wines more produced because that gives a, a, a more value or inexpensive entry point for those people who want to try the wine. So here's my second kind of issue with the second wine label, because this perception that that second wine will taste or will be a mini version of the first wine, I think is not a good concept and is, um, yeah, that doesn't really work. And there's two reasons why that doesn't work. Um, one is that um, in general, uh, many times, the composition of the first and second wine are much different. The, the percentages of the grapes that are used are much dif different. And in some situations, a completely different vineyard is used to produce that. And so um, I think that people that buy second wines to have a mini version of a first wine or a classified growth will be very disappointed. I think 
the good reason to buy a second wine is to um, understand the style of the wine because they are produced in the by the same winery and therefore the style of the wine should be quite uh, or the philosophy should be uh, very similar so I think if you drink the second wine to get an idea of stylistically the wine and the composition uh, and the characteristic of the wine, that's fine. If you're expecting a mini version of a the Grand Cru wine, um, I, I think you'll be in many situations disappointed um, and also uh, it's unfair to that wine to be judged as a mini version of another wine. The concept of second wine has now proliferated not only to Bordeaux, but also to Napa Valley and also to Italian wines with the Super Tuscan and some other parts in the world like Spain. Um, and again, I have two thoughts about that. I think it's good because um, there's more accessibility to wines. People um, get the brand name. You can't expect everyone to have the means to be able to drink a Chateau Lafitte. So it's nice that you have a Carus Lafitte or you have other wines down the chain. There's one that I'm going to review shortly called um, Le Gende, which is very affordable. So in terms of accessibility, I think it's really good for people, um, for wine drinkers to be able to sense or have a, a taste of the essence of um, wineries, magnificent wineries like Chateau Lafitte. I think on the other hand, it um, does give you a incorrect perception and this is not caused by the winery but more by wine, the wine community that somehow um, you're drinking, you make yourself feel better by drinking a second wine but it really is a totally different wine than the growth wine in most cases. And so I guess it makes feel, people feel better. But again, I think that gives you a false sense of the wine and a false sense of security. And so my point is really, um, in general, I like second wines as long as you use them in the correct manner, which is that you want to get um, some idea of conceptually the philosophy uh, of the house and that you treat the wine in it itself and you don't judge it as a second or inferior product the first wine or a mini version as long as you do that i'm good with it um I, what i don't like to see is people kind of just calling things oh i drink the second wine i drink second wines uh because you know with you know I, i'm i'm so smart i i i, I um you know i i pay half the price or one tenth the price and i get the same quality no you don't uh that's not true um, so that's the wine snobbery part of it that I don't like. I think, um, I have no problem with people drinking second wines, but again, they should be judged on their own merit and not compared to another wine. And they should be, um, used in the correct manner, which is to understand the style of the wine, the wine house and their philosophy and not as a bragging right as if I am still drinking it, but I am only paying one tenth of the price. So I'm, I've got some type of hack, wine hack that no, one's, no one else has heard of. No, that's not the case. So I hope that has, um, this has been useful, but those are my ideas on second wines. I'm sure my subscribers and viewers have many comments and I love to engage as long as you're polite. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you about your thoughts about second wines. Until next time, happy drinking.